What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to apologize for not uploading the past few days. I just have been a little busy. I've been getting ready for school, and I've also been trying to set up my schedule of how I'm going to do things now. But now that classes have started up again, I do have a little window of when I can make a video and upload for you guys. I'm going to have to upload twice a day just to make up for the days that I didn't upload because I'm trying to upload every single day of the year. Moving on with the video, I am roughing off this Jordan 1 Top 3. It is a size 7.5. There are a total of 300 entries, and right now there's about 100 and something spots taken. You can go ahead and purchase a ticket in my website, which I will leave a link to in the description down below. Now that winter started a couple weeks ago, it is getting a little colder nowadays, so I wanted to make this video and tell you guys what clothes is popping for the winter and show you guys kind of what's trending right now. So to start off, I do want to show you guys this big jacket. It's been around for a while, it's not really too new, but I've seen a lot of people wearing them. A lot of people have been wearing these kind of jackets. They are really fluffy. These are good jackets more for up north just because they will keep you warm and it will protect you from the snow because the snow is pretty damn cold. And they're cut to the end of the sleeve so the snow doesn't get in. And also you have these buttons so you could make it tighter so the snow doesn't get in. This one in particular, I think my mom got it from Zoomies. It is a Volcom. For some reason it says 600 mm. I don't know if it means 600 millimeters or what. It does have like this square pattern on the front. On the inside it does have like a kind of a weird digital, not digital, but like a squared off camo. Next up I do have this kind of windbreaker. I'm not exactly sure if it's a windbreaker just because the material isn't really like the same. But this material on the inside, it has a material that does keep you pretty warm. It's not so much of a thick jacket, but it's also made to repel water. So if water does fall on this, it won't really get soaked. This is what the Marines use. As you can see, it says Marines in the back. And of course, it has the U.S. Marine Corps logo on the front. Unfortunately, this isn't branded, so it's not anybody can just get it. I got it when I went to South Carolina, when I went to my stepbrother's graduation. There was a store there from where he graduated from boot camp, and I was able to pick this up. And it's pretty cool because it also does have these reflective stripes all the way throughout the shirt, as you can see. Or the jacket or windbreaker, whatever it is you want to call this. Last but not least, what I feel has been popping is these windbreakers. As you can see, this material is exactly what a windbreaker is made out of. I've seen a lot of people been using these lately, especially on the Instagram fashion pages. You can see a lot of people wearing these. These are good for the cold. And obviously they're good for the wind since they are what we call windbreakers. The wind just kind of glides around this. And this kind of looks like the Nike windbreaker that they have on shelves, but... It actually is one from Foot Locker. I don't know if you guys know this brand, but when you see that, it's usually made from Foot Locker. They personally make their items as well. The only thing I don't like is this netting on the inside. It makes it really hard to put on. It just feels kind of weird sometimes. It's whatever. It's a really nice windbreaker, and it is pretty cheap. As far as pricing goes, I got this for 7 bucks because I used a $20 coupon, and this was a total of $20-something. This Marines windbreaker was around $60-something, 70-something because it is really good quality. And, of course, this is what the Marines use as well, so you do get what you pay for. And for this one, I got around, like, $40. And, obviously, for the winter, you can also wear hoodies, long sleeves, and all that. But, of course, in this video, I was talking about other things you can wear on top of that to look more trendy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to get to 10,000 almost a month from now. I don't know if that's going to make it. But I believe you guys can do it by just hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you stay well. Arsene can sign out. I got another class. Peace.